Best ways to make extra money from home. As long as you have positive cash flow, rental homes are a great long-term way to make money in real estate. It is an inflation-adjusted retirement plan since rent and so your income goes up with inflation. The downside? Landlording isn't much fun and you typically wait a long time for the big payoff. Many people confuse making money from rental homes with making money speculating on price appreciation. You can certainly get to do both with rental homes. However this desire to gamble on rising prices leads many to buy rental homes that have more money going out than coming in. It is hard to argue that you shouldn't do this if you just sold the home for $120,000 that you bought for $90,000 two years ago even if you had negative cash flow of $3,000 per year. This is risky however. You could quickly find yourself in trouble if you own several such investments and they don't go up in value. Another important point is that there is a limit to how many negative cash flow homes you can own. At a loss of $3,000 per year how many can you afford? On the other hand if your rental homes are paying for themselves and even throwing off some real cash flow you can own any number of them right. The more the better. Obviously then my number one recommendation is to buy rental homes that will have positive cash flow from the first month you own them. Think about this for a moment. If you bought a home for $90,000 and 30 years later it drops in value to $60,000 but meanwhile you paid off the loan and had cash flow the whole time you're doing great. You have $60,000 cash whenever you want to sell in better cash flow now that the loan payments are done. That is much more secure than gambling on appreciation while losing money but you still get any appreciation gains anyhow. If the rent is $1,000 per month the rental income for the year will be $12,000 right? Only if you are very lucky. You have to plan on some vacancies. If tenants in the area stay around for a year on average and it takes a month to clean and re-rent a home plan on $1,000 less or $11,000 annual income. This short-term way to increase cash flow is often referred to as slumlording. Long term it means not just lower rental income for you but more problem tenants. Consider the math and you'll see the logic of having a nice place. New carpet and repairing a dangerous porch might cost $3,000 but if you roll it into a refinancing it adds just $20 per month to your expenses. Even on a credit card it might cost you only $60 per month. You might be able to get it much more and rent for a nicer place and you'll have fewer problems. If you want to have just a few rentals and you enjoy fixing toilets and arguing with late paying renters you can do everything yourself. However if you want to be a real estate investor and really make some money your time is better spent finding and buying new properties than repairing broken windows. How many properties could you handle if you did everything yourself? Hire help when you need it. Probably the biggest problem with buying single family homes is that it can be tough to get positive cash flow. This has become a bigger problem recently because for years now the prices of homes have been rising faster than rents. What can you do about this? Also how many negative income streams can your regular paycheck support? This is always a problem with investing in properties with negative cash flow. With positive cash flow you can own as many as you want. If you can't get the lower interest rate from the bank see if you can get sour financing. Also amortize the loan over 30 years not 15. Look for any unnecessary expenses that the property has but which can be cut. These might include getting a cheaper management company finding cheaper insurance and getting the property taxes lowered if the property is over assessed. Check area rents to see if an increase is feasible. Make improvements that will enable you to raise the rent more than enough to cover the cost of financing those improvements. Buying single family homes as rentals is one of the easier ways to get started in real estate investing. If you do it only when and where you can get positive cash flow it is also a very safe way to invest. Another big advantage it has is that you have two markets for your properties when you are ready to sell them both investors and regular home buyers.